Pumping Up Production report noted in the March 2012 issue of Cutting Tool Engineering magazine, U.S. energy producers are increasingly using hydraulic fracturing, or fracking, to drill shale deposits and extract natural gas. Fracking involves drilling thousands of feet into the ground, then horizontally into the shale. At that point, an explosive is used to perforate the well casing to create fissures in the fine-grained shale. Then millions of gallons of water, sand, and a chemical mixture are pumped at high pressure into wells to expand the fissures and release the gas. The gas is pumped back out along with the water, sand, and chemical mixture. As you might imagine, the harsh operating conditions of this process requires a steady flow of replacement parts. And as the fracking market continues to grow, so too does the opportunity for shops around the country supplying the parts for fracking. Plus, the machine tools producing the parts require high metal removal rates to help shops keep up with the demand. Toward that end, machine tool maker MAG produces programmable boring bars with a programmable axis that is said to add machining flexibility while reducing the number of required tools and setups. MAG designs its machines so that the head doesn't get in the way of the main spindle, in contrast to a built-in U-head where the spindle has to travel a given distance unsupported. Rigidity is critical to satisfy the high torque and high thrust requirements when applying large tools such as drills.